Woke YouTubers trying to deplatform me? What's going on here? Illy, okay, so Illymation, I remember as a YouTuber, I've heard about a lot. She's like a Tim Tom, the odd ones out type person. This is her channel. She makes videos. Perks of being the fat kid. It's like the odd ones. I mean, you, you've seen this kind of stuff. Hi, my name is Alyssa. And for as long as I can remember, I have never been satisfied with the way I looked. I hated how my calves were too wide to fit into the boots that all the other girls had no problem wearing. I hated that squishy part under my chin that stuck out when I smiled on picture day. And I hate, hate, hated shopping for new clothes, even if my current ones no longer fit me. Honestly, especially if my current clothes no longer fit me. So I guess she's making videos about the struggles of being fat as a child, but uh, apparently she tried to de-platform Think Before You Sleep. I've never seen anything like that. Thank you, Wiener King. I guess I'll check out this Think Before You Sleep video. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. I usually don't start videos out like this, but today is a special occasion. <laughs> okay. Earlier, I found out that someone I made a video on got offended and has started a mass flagging campaign against me to try and get this video taken down. For everyone who is out of the loop, a few days ago, I made a video about a YouTuber who goes by Illymation or Alyssa, where I basically spent 30 minutes saying, I don't like your video, and here's why. A thing that many YouTubers do. I've criticized other YouTubers. Other YouTubers have criticized me. Sometimes we have a little internet battle. Those are fun. And by the end of it, everyone moves on with their life after about a week or two. Except Alyssa. Now, because of the urgency of the situation, and considering that my channel is on the line, because Alyssa has millions of followers, and she's well-connected to a bunch of other powerful YouTubers, I rushed to make a community post about it just in case I got a channel strike before I got the chance to comment. If Since this video went live, I've been getting hate comment bombs on other vids on my channel as well as on Twitter and Insta. I submit reports but it takes a while for a human review at YouTube. I chatted with a help desk person today in the live chat help section and she was very helpful. Unfortunately, I just have to sit tight. However, if you or anyone else reading this come across this video, please report it for cyberbullying. Was he cyberbullying her? What was he doing? Was he like... <laughs> What, 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 was, what were you saying? Think before you said, were you, were, you, were you going crazy? Were you going off the rails? What, what is cyberbullying considered in the modern, modern age? Making a video about someone? Hi, my name is Alyssa. And put you in a calorie deficit. Ice cream is gluten free. Coca Cola is gluten free. <laughs> Lay's potato chips are gluten free. This is like claiming Oreos are healthy because they're vegan. Are people this easy to trick? If you want to know what's healthy, then you actually need to read the ingredients list, not the marketing information on the front of the package. According to self.com, diet culture is an entire belief system that associates food with morality and thinness with goodness. And it's rooted in the very colonial belief that every individual has full control and responsibility over their health. That is woke propaganda. Oh, God. Please, someone tell this girl that. All right, that video seems cringe as already. But I mean, I assume this is just what Think Before You Sleep always does does where he just criticizes someone i guess this girl got upset because she got some mean comments but i mean that's just part of being a youtuber so maybe it's her first time getting that and she just had a mental breakdown very possible that's what's going on here to be clear do not leave a hate comment on her stuff if you have a negative opinion about her you can express it in my comment section or in my chat but do not uh i don't want anyone to go to anyone's channel that's why i have the disclaimer at the beginning of turkey tom vids where i say don't harass anyone mentioned in this video they're an innocent little puppy soul who deserves nothing Woke propaganda. If you already read that community post, I gave the gist the of the- part where she basically says there's no difference between eating a carrot and a cookie or whatever, pure gold. Did she actually say that? That's really funny. Yeah, I mean, the fat acceptance stuff has is, is just gone way too far, I think, unfortunately. You know, to an extent, there are factors that can influence your diet, like uh, the amount of money you're making or the time you have to prepare food or stuff like that. But um, I think you should be trying to take the most responsibility for your diet possible if you want to lose weight. And I would certainly say that on average, I mean, being thin- or is healthier. I mean, obviously not Eugene Cooney levels, but, um, you know, eating healthy and exercise are good for you. I'll be going further into detail in this video. <coughs> that being said, earlier I received an email from a follower giving a well-detailed description about how Alyssa is trying to get me a channel strike because she didn't like a video that she admits to Yes, I didn't watch it. A friend did, though, gave me a rundown. I advise others not watch the video for his channel. Do not engage. Don't give him a single second of watch time or ad revenue. Oh, this person's kind of going crazy not even watching if you didn't watch it how do you know what's in it did well, you see the total this total creep who did a takedown of your fat kid animation why is everybody ex obsessed with calling people a creep if you make fun of someone or like criticize someone this is something i've noticed on youtube this side of youtube like if you make a video criticizing someone they're like this guy is creepy it's like what you posted a public youtube video and someone responded to you and now that person is a creep really are they really a creep or are you just upset that they criticize you in any regard just ignore it just ignore it you have to call them a creep? Well, a friend of hers told her it was bad. Wait, isn't this the exact kind of research <laughs> that I criticized her for in the video? That's funny. Now, before we go any further, 
I will say that I began this journey with a bunch of people saying that Alyssa was deleting comments on her Perks of Being the Fat Kid video and put a pause on the comments section. I understand a lot of people are going to cry censorship, but also I will point out that anytime someone makes a video criticizing a creator, the vast majority of the new comments on said creator's video will say, LOL, you're dumb and I don't like you. While I don't mind if people write comments that include polite and constructive criticism, unfortunately, asking for viewers to be courteous to other creators that I cover on this channel does not actually stop comment brigading, no matter how many times I've done it in videos, and it doesn't work when other creators do it either. Yeah, I mean, this is a thing. You can't, uh, you can't control your entire audience. Obviously, I tell people not to harass anyone, but sometimes they will, regardless, and there's not much you can do. You're a creep, says Amber, based. But yeah, I mean, there's there's literally nothing you can do sometimes about that. Like, people are just going to be mean. People are going to be critical. Unless someone has actually engaged in criminal behavior, I think generally YouTubers don't want their followers filling up another creator's comment section. I also think it's well within a creator's right to block or mute comments on their channel that are essentially harassment and not an actual discussion. However, this comment brigading behavior appears to just be a fact of nature that creators can't control. So really, it's on YouTube. Especially if you have 800,000 subscribers, I mean, some percentage of those people are probably going to be mean at some point, right? Like, there's, there's literally nothing you can do about it, unfortunately. Especially if you're being critical of someone, you know, that's just going to happen. Um, and I don't think that means that criticism should be banned on YouTube. It's like, just ignore it. If you're a YouTuber with millions of subscribers, the least of your concerns should be a few mean comments. Like, you shouldn't be worried about it. If, th if Think Before You Sleep had been poop maxing, this would have not happened. Yeah, he needs to in his diaper way more. Oh, dude, that shines on my diaper. To, to make an interface change that accident, yeah. addresses this problem. We already have subscriber only mode on live chat. I don't see why that feature can't just be added to video comment sections as True. well. You would be shocked at how many people would lose their interest in saying, LOL, you're dumb, if they had to wait 10 minutes or 24 hours to say it. This would heavily cut down on comment brigading without removing the ability to provide constructive criticism and without having to full-on censor the <laughs> comment section. Anyway, Alyssa posted this on Tumblr. I mean, also, you can just choose not to read the comments. Like, I'm going to be honest, guys. On the main channel, on the videos, like, I, I, don't, I don't usually read the comments. You just can't. Like, there's thousands of people that comment on the videos. Am I supposed to read every one? You know how bad that is for your mental health if you're... Every negative comment you're just reading and taking in. Like, just protect yourself from that if you're a YouTuber. It's not that hard. Like, just don't do it. If you have, like, a problem, then... I guess just don't make YouTube videos for a little while until you can mentally sort yourself out. But once again, like, I feel like it's such a first world problem to even complain about negative comments on a video, like whatever. If you're like expressing a disagreement with the ideas or whatever, and you want to argue with them, I mean, that's one thing, but. Fred starts out with a post saying, did you see this total <laughs> creep who did a takedown of your fat kid animation? Alyssa responds to She's it on by. Tumblr. And opinion invalidated. Saying, yes, frowny face. I didn't watch it. A friend did though, and gave me a rundown. I advise others to not watch the video or his channel either. Do not engage. Don't give him a single second of watch time or ad revenue. Yeah, real mature. I'm going to start a mass flagging campaign for a video that I didn't watch and then tell my followers to not watch it either because surely they shouldn't be allowed to develop their own opinions on content that is critical of me. <coughs> Gee, that doesn't sound like a cult at all. God forbid people on the left explore some of the viewpoints that exist on the right because that is scary. You know there are many ways to watch a video without giving it ad revenue, right? For example, you could watch it on my Rumble channel where I basically- I mean, also, like, your your one view is not really gonna hurt him that much, right? Like, or give him that much money. Like, aggregately, a ton of views will give people money, but, like, one person watching a video is, like, 10 cents. So I don't know what this person's expecting to stop. Why so spiteful, too? Go, don't give him a single cent. Why not? Is he, like, not a person? He can't make money on YouTube? What's the problem? Bro, sounds like nerd emoji. He does sound like the nerd emoji, which is his greatest crime. Think before you sleep. You need to stop sounding like a nerd, like the nerd emoji. Start sounding like me, okay? Alpha. Alpha AF. They re-upload everything for free. The link is in ten the cents? description. Okay, it's not even 10 cents. It's not even one cent, to be honest with you. I'm just I'm just saying, like, it's such a minuscule amount of money. Like, you shouldn't be that worried. Description. <laughs> Moving on to what her friend said about the video, because everyone knows that a game of telephone is always the best way to get the most accurate representation of an event. Anyways, finish the entire video. Guy is just dog whistling to misogynist. Well, that certainly is a completely non-biased and fair assessment of my video that not only brings up my bad points, but my good points as well, and totally doesn't preempt Alyssa to hate me before any of the video is discussed. Sarcasm aside, may I remind people like I did in this video here that while my viewership is mostly male, 
by female audience is between 15 and 20 percent on a typical month. If I was just posting radicalized misogyny in every video, then I wouldn't have this many women watching the channel. Now let's continue. I mean, also, just a phenomenon that happens is like, to an extent, men like watching men and women like watching women. I mean, that's not always the case. I'm sure, you know, Drew Gooden or whatever probably has a large female audience, but he also caters to female topics. So that kind of makes sense. But I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily with having a large male versus female audience. Like who? cares like is illimation's audience misandrous because she mostly has a female audience like what does that even mean you with the completely unbiased assessment from Alyssa's friend he spends a very high percentage of the video personally attacking illy's appearance well first of all <laughs> the fashion section was less than 10 percent of the content it was two minutes and 45 seconds of a 37 minute video second you also forgot to mention the part where i began that section highlighting Alyssa's good features to aim people's attention towards and gave two examples of what she looks like when she styles herself correctly and compares. <laughs> okay, that's a little. I'm gonna be honest. Think before you sleep. I mean, I agree with this assessment, but like, styles herself correctly, bruh. When she styles herself correctly, compare that to when she styles herself incorrectly. The reason I did that is because many people <laughs> think they're ugly when they actually aren't. They just have bad fashion. I did a whole video about it here, discussing multiple. I mean, as long as if he wasn't calling her ugly the entire video. First of all, even if he was calling her ugly. I wouldn't care. I would be like, it's YouTube, you know, based, whatever. I know it's probably against TOS, intrinsic attributes or whatever, but I don't really care if you want to make fun of someone's appearance who gives, um, you know, part of the game or whatever. But uh, if he wasn't even doing that, then why even make a comment like that? YouTubers who would look way better if they just took care of their appearance. Alyssa would be just as attractive as all the people she said she compares herself to in the perks of being the fat kid video if she just learned good fashion. Can we all see why you should watch a video before you rile up a hate mob? When yes. you hear personally attacking Illy's appearance, there are a lot of ways that can be interpreted. Some of them can be cruel and malicious <laughs> bullying. Others could be, hey, you're actually not ugly. Just do these things here and you'll look great. In order to determine which one it is, you need to investigate further. Alyssa's friend says this next. My judgment is that this guy appeals to the same audience as your Jordan Petersons and Ben Shapiro's without any of the qualifications that those two regrettably have. Why would she assume that I'm a fan of Ben Shapiro when I made fun of his sister's terrible fashion recommendations in the very same video? I love how she... <laughs> yeah. She glossed over that one. But at the end of that image, she's making an appeal to authority argument by saying that Jordan Peterson has a degree in psychology... Ben Shapiro is a lawyer, and I'm not qualified to speak because I'm not a psychologist or a lawyer. Well, for one, we're talking about- Well, is Illimation a lawyer? Is she a psychologist? What is her qualification? About health and fitness here, and what sort of certifications does Alyssa have in either of those fields to be qualified to talk about them in her video? Guess who does have certifications to talk about fitness? Me. I don't mention it a lot because constantly talking about your qualifications sounds a lot like insecure bragging. But I did say I was a fitness professional in my reaction to Alyssa, and my personal qualifications are a bachelor's degree in kinesiology. And Adam 16 and no jumper video? I already made that. NSCA personal training certificate and a 200-hour yoga teacher certificate. I also have about 12 years of combined experience in the fitness industry and in sports, <laughs> and I taught for about 10 of those years. I am very well educated in this field. I constantly learn new information in it, and it's one of the reasons why my fitness and weight loss videos you're right, but you're not beating the nerd emoji allegations, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I, like, just joined stream a few minutes ago, an Illymation video. I'm a huge Illy fan. I got tickets to VidCon to meet her in September, but she had sadly canceled. I mean, you don't have to stop being a fan of someone just because I make a video about them. Like, I'm not going to police who you're a fan of, you know? I just make entertaining videos. You can do what you want with that information. It's fine if you're a fan of her. It's whatever. Who cares? I mean, if she's trying to get people deplatformed, I... I personally am not going to like that. I'm going to think that's like pretty stupid, but uh, I don't know if, if, if your like of someone doesn't depend on whether they deplatform people or not, like I feel like it just doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Who cares? Those do so well. It's because my advice actually works and has resulted <laughs> in many people losing weight. Again, if we all have to have degrees in this stuff, where are Alyssa's qualifications to give health advice to kids? Where's her degree? All she did was talk about how uneducated she is on this subject and starts the video out by saying this. I started dieting at the age of 11. I looked over at whatever weight watching, Jennifer Craig, fitnessing pal, MLM, Facebook scam my parents were up to. Tommy, see about it? About what? 
and I copied them. So she's preempting the video telling you that she's unqualified. And then she spends the whole video talking about how the advice of the professionals that she chose to listen to didn't lead her to her goals. Anyway, <laughs> Alyssa's friend goes on to say, blah, 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 cherry picked, blah, blah, non-academic sources, which is really funny because Alyssa's main sources were a magazine and a fat acceptance advocate. Hell, they didn't even put a person's name on this 20-year-old article. Why are you trusting a fat acceptance advocate for advice on how to lose weight or how to be healthy? I feel like that's bad. Why are people not in agreement yet that being fat is a bad thing? I'm not saying you should like relentlessly dehumanize and shit on people who are fat, but why have we as society walked this back and tried to mentally cope ourselves into thinking that like being overweight is actually okay? About this situation? Oh, I gotcha. Well, I'm curious what Tommy C has to say. I assume we probably would agree on the bare bones basics of it, but... Why as a society have we walked this back? I made a video about this not that long ago. The fat acceptance meme. Yeah, this video. And it, it has gone too far. It's kind of it's kind of distracting to see this. Uh, somehow I feel like we've made so much progress as a society, but we're still justifying and coping about the fact that people are obese and trying to explain it away. Like be, being obese in my eyes should be seen as the same thing as like being severely disabled or like not having legs. Like I'm not saying, I'm not saying you should relentlessly shit on these people and bully them. Unless you're being funny on the internet. But what I am saying is that, you know, you shouldn't just accept that and be like, well, whatever, it's fine. Like, it's a debilitating f disease. And if you're that big, it's probably a product of mental illness or some kind of maladaptive habits that need to be corrected, obviously. Meanwhile, I actually gave proper citations that lead you it's to- It's easy to become fat and lucrative. Yeah, I mean, there is a big demographic of people out there who want to mentally cope about it. So they like to listen to people on the internet, tell them that it's actually okay to be fat so they don't have to confront the personal problems in their lives and actually improve who they are. It's very dark, but that is the the world we live in, unfortunately. Directly to the source. I actually gave I the name out several hours a day, eat right and still chubby. Well, uh, how long have you been doing that? It would be the question, I guess, there. And what do you mean by what do you mean by eat right? <laughs> what do you mean work out several hours a day? How do you have time to work out several hours a day? Does anyone have time to work out more than like an hour and a half, maybe a day? Does anyone have time for that? Names of the professionals <laughs> that I was quoting. I showed a video using indirect calorimetry to display the differences on what types of exercises burn the most calories. And I linked a Noah Sampson video where I go very heavy into the data about why fat acceptance is bad. An argument so good that even Noah had to agree with it. So I must admit that in my prior video, I made a mistake. Well, two mistakes. The first mistake was the way that I made one of my arguments. I argued that fat representation in... I don't like the way this guy talks. Uh, Nabo, thanks for coming a member. And Vincent O'Connor, thank you for gifting a membership. I do appreciate it. Media can help promote healthy habits. This line of argumentation is not great. It's a stretch because it relies on a lot of correlations. A good chunk of Think Before You Sleep's video covers this flaw in argumentation. So I'm hereby raising a white flag on that argument. I think it's a bad argument. I'm not sure what a literal professional's well-documented opinion is, but considering that I'm also a certified professional in this field, it's my word against theirs, so welcome to a stalemate. Last, her friend ends off her comments by denying that Aubrey Gordon is a very ideological radical leftist, to which, if you actually read the stuff that I posted on screen during her segments, you could easily see. I didn't just say that without proving it. And yes, her politics are relevant, and so are Alyssa's, because Alyssa loves to abruptly insert her leftist politics into videos for kids. Another memorable kid I'll call Devin. One day while I was getting snacks ready, this little dude stomped and stormed in. Did not pass the snack table, did not collect the Cheez-Its. And that's how I knew something was up. So I sat down with him, but before I could get a word in, he turned to me and said, do you know what the most evil thing in the world is? Plastic. And he goes off about littering, landfills, fossil fuels, acid rain, CO2 emissions, our carbon footprint. This little dude just learned about pollution and he was fuming. I feel like this didn't happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like that just didn't, I feel like this is a made up part of this story. I don't know. I kind of don't believe that. And I love that for him. Cause you know, there are people my age who think global warming is a myth. So I'm here to assure you guys, the kids are all right. Yes, because telling a little kid that the world is being destroyed is completely appropriate and not traumatic at all. Okay, I mean, isn't that big of a deal that she believes in global warming or something like? Is that really injecting her politics unnecessarily? Think before you sleep. I feel like it's whatever. Like if, if I said that 
global warming exists and people be like, oh, always putting your politics in there. Like, do I really have to argue on that commonly accepted viewpoint? Like, uh, is it that big of a deal to say global warming exists or tell a child global warming exists? Does anyone remember that a part of Greta Thunberg's backstory was that learning about climate change? Is that how you say her name? Thunberg? Greta Thunberg? Thunberg says she first heard about climate change in 2011 when she was eight years old and could not understand why so little was being done about it. The situation depressed her and as a result, at age 11, she stopped talking and eating much and lost 10 kilograms in two months. Thunberg struggled with depression for almost four years. I mean, this is a compelling argument maybe to not put this on children, I guess, but I feel like she didn't unnecessarily introduce the subject in her video. As I say, her name is some weird Swedish pronunciation. Well, I am Swede-phobic, so I will say Thunberg. Change made her anorexic at 11? Whatever your politics are, we should not be telling young children that the world is ending. By the way, when I say woke left, I don't mean the left in general. I mean the radical left who are pro-cancel culture and have been promoting the very unhealthy message that being 300 pounds does not cause health problems. And second, by the way, it's not like there aren't people on the radical right who are pro-cancel culture. The America First movement is very into cancellation and deplatforming, and I've been very critical of that. And no, I didn't- oh my God, just, I'm surprised it's funny this is in here because this literally was like a talking point today because in the Destiny documentary, I, I questioned Destiny over if he deplatformed Nick Fuentes back in the day, and this has become like a talking point. And like Nick reacted to it, and then Destiny reacted Dude, to Nick's reaction. What? But people are very quick, just be like, "Oh, he's a Nazi," and then it's like done. And but then you you cut him off. What? You cut him like you wouldn't do content with him now. I'm trying to think, my the current reason I've listened to Blacklist is because he does the crazy aggressive deplatforming. Like his, the Griper people will spam report people if you if they don't like you, which I think is hypocritical and annoying. Haven't you um, done that a little bit? Uh, I've seen some old video of you reporting Nick's Twitch getting him banned. Who? Did that ever happen? <laughs> oh, dude, it's this so was, this was like it's so crazy. Well, I'm trying to remember the current reason I blacklisted him. Oh yeah, it's because they report people like crazy. Oh, this like this just became a talking point today. So I'm surprised that this came up this way. Um, yeah, surprised that Nick came up in this video. He's inescapable apparently. Just assume that Aubrey was 300 pounds. You inappropriately touched Destiny. I'd say all the touching was appropriate. Pounds. I showed her saying it in an article. Anyway, Alyssa goes on to say that she reported me to YouTube and is waiting for a human to review my video. She also chatted with the help desk person and really put a lot of her time and energy into trying to get me. I mean, there are little problems I have with this thing before you sleep video, but overall, whatever he says, well, is is incomparable to the fact that Illymation decided to encourage people to mass flag his video and also personally talk to a YouTube representative to try and get him banned. That's crazy. That's like kind of insane, no? I feel like we need, we need more pushback on the platformers these days. Uh, don't harass her or anything, but I feel like people just need to, uh, because for, for people sometimes just don't get it and they want to deplatform people no matter what. And I think these people need to be publicly shamed into having the perspective that if they do it, they will be publicly shamed. And as a result, they shouldn't encourage deplatforming. I think it's the only way to go about it. There should just be a common consensus on YouTube that you can say whatever you want. You shouldn't be deplatformed. This wasn't even a thing we used to do back in the day, back in like 2015 to 18, like deplatforming wasn't even a discussion. We weren't Talking about getting people's channel banned. Unless they were like, you know, I mean, if, if you're convicted of, I, I don't really feel bad for your favorite channel banned. But even at that, it's kind of a slippery slope just because uh, I feel like YouTube shouldn't be weighing in on legal matters unless they think that person is direct danger to users on the platform, which I mean, you could make the case that they are if they're, if they're or grooming or grooming or something like that. But I personally, uh, I, I personally, in most cases would, would be against the platforming almost anyone. Even if there's a conviction, like, I don't know. I just feel like YouTube is a platform. The less involvement they have, the better um, in these situations, you know? The platform is relatively new. I mean, not really, but I feel like there's been a big wave in the past six years or so. He deplatformed when really she should be busy enjoying her vacation in Japan. I remember people deplatforming with the Atheism Plus days in 2012 as a misinformation. I mean, you're right. This is the thing. It has existed forever, but it just, it comes and goes in waves. The common consensus in YouTube culture was deplatforming is bad like seven years ago, and then it kind of came back. And I feel like we're getting to a point now probably where people are pushing back on deplatforming in general, which I think is pretty good. I think I think that's a good development in the progression of the YouTube culture. I'm, I'm quite satisfied with that. Has no one ever reacted to her content before? Wait like a week and everyone will forget about it. In fact, if you said nothing, everyone would have forgotten about it by the time you got back from your trip. Last, Alyssa gives a call to action to her followers by saying, however, if you or anyone else reading this comes across this video, please report it for cyberbullying. Make sure to not watch it before doing that, by the way. Hopefully with enough reports from different people, it'll get taken care of sooner. And please Jesus. do not send hate to him. It will only make things worse. I just want this to be over. It's, but it's over as soon as it's over inside your head. Like, just ignore it and it doesn't really matter. If you want it to be over, just like, 
don't acknowledge it or respond to it. I mean, I think if somebody criticizes your video and says you're spreading misinformation, it can it can be good to respond if you want to dispel the allegations. But if you don't care to do that, then you also simultaneously should not care to mass report them. That's crazy. I love that last part. Make sure you don't harass him. Just mass flag his channel. Alyssa, I'll take hate comments all day before I take a channel strike. If I don't like comments, I can just mute them. <coughs> By the way, considering her behavior, I think the only reason that she asked her followers to not send hate comments is probably because she doesn't want to make things worse by making people aware that she's mass flagging me. I hate to break it to you, Alyssa, but when you have a channel that has hundreds of thousands of viewers, people make you aware of everything. Even when someone tries to hide a targeted harassment campaign by posting it on Tumblr instead of Twitter or YouTube, where people would actually be able to criticize the evil thing that you're doing. And That's then why, I don't know why people complain about getting banned. It's a private company. If you hate capitalism, say so. I mean, I don't hate capitalism, but this is not just a simple private company is the obvious argument. Like YouTube is not like a store. If YouTube was like a little store you could walk into, then I would support their right to ban people no matter what. But YouTube is like the largest and really the only feasible publishing platform in the world where you can post YouTube, where you can post video content and make money. Yes, there are little alternatives like Rumble or whatever. And what I like, what I want to like have the government infringe on YouTube's right to do so? Probably not. Like, probably wouldn't be good because I want YouTube to be able to do what they do independent of the government. But I would encourage a culture on YouTube where we don't deplatform people and ban them because, once again, like, it's more of a public square. It's more of a public utility than anything. It, like, I feel like most people should have a right to post content on YouTube, you know? Like, YouTube is, is a monopoly. It's, it's not as simple as, like, oh, they're a private business. Like, yes, they're a private business, but that argument doesn't really work for me when the private business is so insurmountably large that there's no alternative no matter what it's not like oh you get banned from this store you can go to the store down the street it's like there's one store and everyone has to use it and if you don't use it you make either no money or way less money than you make anywhere else but i'm sympathetic with youtube sometimes banning people as well because you know obviously their main goal is to make money and keep advertisers and if they feel like somebody's a risk to that then they're gonna get rid of them so you know at the same time I, i'm somewhat sympathetic to their argument but in general i don't i don't like the deplatforming i would say she says I just Nobody want makes money on Rumble. I've been there for three years and made $7 total. Well, it depends on how many views you're getting. It also depends on, you know, if you're on Rumble getting donations, you can make a decent amount of money. I bet Sneeko is making okay money on Rumble, but I don't think it's from ad revenue. You know, that's what I would say is going on there. I want this to be over. Well, by playing. you, you literally. If they want Section 230 immunity, then they shouldn't be able to censor people. Uh, yeah. Isn't, sec isn't Section 230 mostly based around copyright stuff, though? Or actually, no, that is, that is content stuff, too. That is, like, lawsuits based on what people post there. So, yeah, I would agree. But they will censor people regardless. That's the world we live in. Dirty and attacking my channel and my livelihood, you did the exact thing that will make this not over. Now I have to respond because if I don't, I could lose my channel and the 80 to 100 hours that I spent on that video. If you simply this is sort of the uh, Streisand effect where you want to hide something and then it ends up getting bigger than you could have ever imagined. And you, it just backfires on you. Good job, Illumination. It was a genius move you just did there. Probably did nothing, Alyssa. You had about four more days before everyone forgot about you. Speaking of YouTube rules, and as someone who regularly <laughs> reads them, I know that my video doesn't break any of them in the hate speech policy or the harassment and cyberbullying policy. Here's the fun part. Do you know what's actually in violation of YouTube's <laughs> bullying and harassment rules? This Tumblr post. Maybe that's also why she tried to secretly post it because she knows if she posted it on Twitter or YouTube, people could report her for it. Oh God. Originally, I was just going to talk about Alyssa telling her followers to mass flag my channel, but since Alyssa is hell bent <laughs> on spreading as much wrong information about health as she possibly can, I feel obligated to comment on an archived post that I was sent. Remember that Alyssa has no background education or any qualifications in this. Well, here she is yet again trying to gaslight people about how many health problems obesity causes and also conflates obesity with people who are underweight to try to make it seem less bad. First of all, let's remove obesity from the table. If we're just talking about severe obesity, more than five and a half times more people suffer from that than people suffer from being underweight. This long rant of Alyssa's is so full of wrong information and poor analysis that I could easily spend a whole video on it. I'm not going to go over every point, but I will do a little speed run through each section by also mentioning that Alyssa points out that you can't determine if people are dying of heart disease because of obesity because there are other factors that cause heart disease, like lack of exercise, smoking, and alcohol addiction. While that is true- well, I wonder what led that person to be overweight, though. <laughs> um, I feel like I don't need to go through the rest of this video. I basically know the gist of it. To be honest, I don't really care about the, the weight stuff. Achieve about 5,000 calories in two meals, Max, and had a chocolate shake <laughs> hell or two magazines study when you don't know half the language being used. That's like saying that you're fluent in a foreign- I feel like I didn't need to watch him prove that obesity is bad. Language, just because some of the words are similar and because they use the same numbers as English. I mean, holy sh Alyssa, I am begging you to stop giving people health advice and please stop promoting fast food to kids and giving it social proof. Ultra-processed food is produced by a food system yes, sure. that is the leading cause of, cause of loss of biodiversity, 
the second leading cause of carbon emissions and the leading cause of plastic pollution. Stick to making videos about Animal Crossing and sharing My Little Pony fan art. You aren't qualified to talk about this stuff. Anyway, that was my speed run through Alyssa's New Year's Eve rant. I know it was a lot, but I assure you that I still didn't cover everything, and that was the quick version. Getting back to the mass flagging campaign that Alyssa started against me, let me be clear, she only cares about my video because it contains criticism against her. To be honest, I don't, I don't think his video is going to go down. I don't think that's even going to happen. I mean, if it's not already down, if you actually watch the video, there's clearly no... Quoting the magazine I guess I article. It all the way through, but I've seen enough Think Before You Sleep videos to say that he probably didn't go completely off the rails in this one and just start calling her, I don't know, a or something or like being like you fatty so lose weight i doubt the video is even going to go down if i had to guess she doesn't actually care about real bullying and harassing or even harsh critique well obviously she doesn't care about bullying because she'll openly call her followers to harass a much smaller creator that has one third of her following but allow me to remind everyone of this thing that Ludwig said a while back when he responded to a video of mine. I had a problem when I was young where I had a squeaker voice and I would talk and I would get roasted because of my squeaker voice. It's like an intrinsic quality about me and not because I am dog at the video game. I am cool with people being mean because I am bad or do something dumb. I am not cool with, be with people being mean because I have a trait that I cannot change about myself. He said that in response to a video that I made about video game activists using hate speech to cancel all forms of criticism. Not just gendered insults or things that you can't change like he was arguing. Why do people care so much about that? Are you so insecure in yourself that like you're just so mad when people make fun of you and your voice? Like people make fun of my voice, my appearance, my own fans roast me for my haircut all the time. Am I trying to deplatform them? No. <laughs> like who cares? Just ignore it. Just like ban the person in chat if it pisses you off that much. Do you really need to cry about it on YouTube? Is it that big of a deal? Ludwig was roughly saying, no one's going to cancel you for saying someone sucks at the game. To which I pointed out in my response that I received a three-day ban from Apex Legends for merely saying that a teammate of mine. Like if you're if you're not if you're so insecure that you can't stand hate comments on the internet and like it pisses you off so bad, like just just don't be on the internet, I guess. Don't be popular on the internet because that's part of the job. And if like the worst aspect of your job is that people make fun of you sometimes, is it really that bad of a job? Do you have it that hard? Does it matter, dude? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? If people are mean to you online. Just ignore it. Or respond to it make content out of it you know is it, is it that big of a deal really you need to cry about it sucked at the game so i don't I agree <laughs> with ludwig's assessment at all i think this stuff has always been about removing any criticism now i don't know how Alyssa has two million subs and has never been criticized i mean she probably has been criticized but if i had to guess it's never been in, like she's never had like a critical big video made about her because if you look at her content oh. i mean it's pretty just like safe videos like you know my thoughts on cats like who was making a call-out video on her thoughts on cats you know when she talks about a serious subject, it's obviously more likely someone will respond to her and say something about it, right? And have a problem with it. But maybe she's just a sensitive person in general. I don't really know her that well. I don't know her at all, actually. I just know of her. I know she exists. Why I got an abortion? <laughs> I guess abortion in air quotes me. It wasn't a real abortion. Jesus, though. <laughs> Did I make fun of Alyssa's gender? No. Did I make fun of her race? No. Did I ridicule her for attributes of her appearance that she can't change? Why is the Taj Mahal here? <laughs> is she Indian? No. Did I tell my audience to harass her? No. Yet she still has deemed this a cyberbullying and is leading an actual targeted harassment campaign as an attempt to deplatform me and take away my source of income. Like I said, she doesn't care about harassment. And to further prove that, she was very quick to mention all of her YouTube friends a few months ago in a video about autism. My boyfriend Kermit is not of the YouTube sphere, although he does enjoy watching and keeping up with certain creators. But never in a million years did he anticipate being in the same room as Hassan, Jax Films, Ian from Smosh, Eddie Burback, Michael Reeves, Lily Pichu, and many others all at once. Now, I will say that I think most of Alyssa's videos are fine. I think she gives decent advice on how to deal with an autistic partner. I think it's great that she's trying to destigmatize mental health treatment with videos like this. And I thought that most of the videos that I watched of hers were entertaining and relatable. I mostly just had a problem with her video on fat acceptance. That being said, we can see that she promotes Noah Sampson and Hassan, and at least her boyfriend is a fan of them. The fact that she associates with Hassan yet flips out over light criticism from me is really funny. Because you know how I'll take time to say good things about a person, argue their points fairly by bringing up their good arguments, and make sure to not poke fun at the things that they can't change? Well, Hassan does none of that. He's spent hours reacting to my videos over the past two years, basically calling me every name in the book. Dude, shut the f*** up, you stupid, cringe, weirdo nerd, dude. How are you like a 14-year-old pasty little cell on the internet when I make fun of like pasty little skin cells? You are just a dude. Hassan is well known for- Isn't that like a slur or something? Skin? For the type of behavior that you would consider harassment, so don't try feigning ignorance, especially if your boyfriend is a fan. You have to have seen him do this stuff. But I mean, obviously, Illymation is cool with Hassan Piker because, you know- He's the base socialist guy, and he's mean to the right people. But if you're mean to the wrong people, that's bad, right? But Hassan would probably be like, oh, yeah, get that chud you platform. That's good. That's what he would say about this. Friend is a fan. You have to have seen him do this stuff. Wait, take a look at this moment that I found <laughs> while I was making the insult compilation. And plus, you can on women, just not on the virtue of them being a 
woman. Like, I do it all the time, okay? Again, it's just like the Ludwig clip. It's not about gendered harassment or making fun of intrinsic traits that someone has. It's about using the term hate speech to move the goalpost every couple of years on what's considered mean so that eventually any kind of criticism will not be allowed because it offends someone. Hassan said it was fine to make fun of a woman just as long as it's not on the virtue of them being a woman. Then he said he does it all the time. Now, can Alyssa point to one example where I made fun of her for being a woman or any intrinsic characteristic? No. It's like that she not. can't change? Well, no, because she didn't watch the video, so she has no idea what's in it. But anyone who actually did watch it would know that I only commented on things that she has control over, like research skills, yet she still said I was bullying her and told people in her massive 2.5 million person following to try and get me deplatformed for a behavior <laughs> that someone she looks up to or is friends with admits he does all the time. So the claim that this is just about gendered insults or whatever and everything else is fine is completely wrong. Now, Noah isn't as bad as Hassan, but he still says things that Alyssa would very much consider harassment if it was said about her. Here's something he said about me. Ow, ow. So that's what this video is, is like. Random stock image, smug, whiny commentary. He also followed that up with an entire video making fun of my voice with a friend of his. Do I care about that? No, I know what I sound like. But don't kid yourself by thinking that Alyssa wouldn't make a big deal of it if someone did something like that to her. So Alyssa, why do you think it's okay to associate and actively promote these YouTubers when they constantly do things that you think are so wrong? Well, it's because they criticize the, the right people, right? It's because... It's good to criticize people who are on the right. It's good to criticize people who are mean and, you know, chuds who like Jordan Peterson. But it's bad to criticize and make fun of people who are illimation. So that's the obvious answer, right? Although she's, it's not like she's thinking about any of this. I mean, if she does this, she's not someone with a consistent worldview. She's just like, someone was mean to me. Deplatform now! Get rid of them now! That it's worth trying- I was offended that no one made fun of the stock images. I'm making fun of the stock images. You need to get some CSGO gameplay here instead, okay? That'll be way better. Is this Destiny's secret channel? He sounds a little bit like Destiny. I hear that to deplatform someone again poop max is the real answer poop max is the real answer everyone needs to poop max no samson spotted time to tell black women that i'm their white savior listen if you're a black woman in my audience i am your savior i will save you dm me right away as long as you look like zoe kravitz is this the first time another youtuber has reacted to her channel because i would never think to get someone deplatformed because i didn't like a reaction they had to a video of mine did i cry to youtube when hassan made his videos on me no did i cry to youtube when noah did no. Did I whine about Nick is not green or Ethan is online reacting to me? Nope. How about Vosh? Well, Vosh's reactions aged hilariously after he accidentally exposed what was on his computer, but that's beside the point. Never have I tried to deplatform someone over negative commentary, and these people- Vosh responds and confirms his leaked folder contains lollipop. We're calling it lollipop now? I'm cool with that. Lollipop. It has lollipop. People have all said way worse stuff to me Sean than any of the stuff- is calling. I need to pick up the answer from Derek Poop right now. I'm guessing some people got poop maxing for some weirdo- in a diaper and leaving it there uh that weirdo would be me and i'm normal and cool and it was base when i did it okay it's good like you guys know when you get that last rep in you're like oh and your your bladder just goes out and you sh all over the gym room floor and get it all over the bench and just like diarrhea spray everywhere <laughs> that's what we're doing today after that i said about illumination a lot of reactions to my channel have been straight up slander too I mean, Alyssa, you do understand that this post here calling me a right-wing extremist who led a targeted <laughs> harassment campaign against you is technically liable, right? On top of that, I would like to note that I've made many videos criticizing other people, and Alyssa is the only person to ever try to deplatform me because she can't handle any criticism. How are all these other people so brave? Aren't you like 26? You are well into adulthood and a lot closer to 30 than you are to 20, yet you behave like an elementary school child tattletaling to the teacher because some other kid criticized you for being a bad sport during kickball. Considering that in this post you stated that your market is children, do you really think this is being a good role model? Telling people to stick their head in the sand, not listen to feedback, and use dirty tactics against anyone who criticizes them? By trying to deplatform a smaller creator, all you've done is make yourself look bad and legitimize the claims that your opponent made against you. So here's a little advice from someone who is not qualified like Jordan Peterson or Ben Shapiro. If you want this to go away, then stop trying to get my video and my channel taken down, and most importantly, ignore everything. Instead of burning your energy on a bunch of random people on the internet that you don't know that have no effect on your personal life, enjoy your vacation in Japan. As someone who has been studying Japanese for years- She's literally in Japan and malting about the fact some guy made a video about her fat acceptance Who f What a f loser, dude. Jesus, that sucks. Illimation, you just gotta chill out. I think you should take Think Before You Sleep's advice. I think you should, uh, think about puppies and cats before you sleep instead of thinking about his negative video about you. You would never see me ruin a trip to Japan over some stupid creator drama. Why are you even on your phone? You should be out doing stuff. It's been over a decade since I've been there, and no stupid woke leftist reaction video is going to ruin that vacation. In fact, Noah Sampson <coughs> made this video on me right before I went on vacation for a week last summer, and I paid no attention to it until I got back. You would do well to try that. And contrary to what you said in this video here, ignoring people does make things go away. 
Does anyone remember that Mr. Free Speech Tim Pool sided with two people named Eliza Blue and Jack Murphy who were both in favor of deplatforming? Nope. Do people remember that Tim Pool had one of his reporters write multiple hit pieces on Eliza's top critics while Eliza was busy using her connections to get those critics banned on Twitter and their videos removed from YouTube? I don't think. Is that true? Did Tim Pool actually do that? That's interesting. I feel like people shouldn't forget that, but if that's true, that's a, that's a very interesting allegation. She can take her friend's summary of my advice. Yeah, true. Well, her friend's summary of your advice will be, uh, he's racist, transphobic, homophobic, sexist, uh, he's he's a paid Zionist, and he's also uh, being mean to alienation, therefore we need to report him for talking about the targeted harassment. Also, the Tumblr was private information, okay? That was private information that was leaked, I think, before you sleep, which clearly should be deplatformed and gotten rid of. So everybody, just make sure you report his videos right now. Thanks, so. Al. Well, I mean, I remember that, but pretty much nobody remembers it because Tim Pool kept his mouth shut. Was it moral for him to do that? No, but it worked, and things went back to normal a few weeks after the drama was over. Alyssa, if you don't like negative comments, all you had to do was mute them for a couple days, probably not even a week, and everyone would have forgotten about it. So if you really want this to just be over, that would be my advice. And Google the Streisand effect. Anyway, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video. I mean, pretty good video, but I think before you sleep, I think, uh, I think Illimation needs to chill the freak out. I think she needs to stop spurking out online i mean it's just not that it's just not that big of a deal you know people criticize you it's part of being a youtuber if you don't want to take their advice seriously then just don't interact you know and ultimately like threatening to report someone typically unless they're being really crazy it will uh just make the story bigger and make people talk about it more like what happened here where i think before you sleep was able to make a second half hour video to make a bunch of money off of your stupid content and so yeah i would say you should probably just stop that I mean, he was literally able to make a second video that got even more views than the last one about you. So that didn't really work out in your favor, did it? Think before you poop, true. Or maybe think while you poop. My most genius thoughts have come on the toilet while I've been maxing. Actually, while I've been filling up the diaper, they've been uh, they've been really good. All right, that about covers this situation, I think. Technically, she got me a lot of views off of telling her audience to not watch me. She did. She got you an extra 700,000 views. Thank you, Illy Mation, for making, uh, making Think Before You Sleep even more goaded with the sauce. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. Yeah.